Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Nolan coming to you from Virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Phil Lawson Shanks, Chief Innovation Officer for Aligned. Welcome back to JSA TV, Phil. Well, thank you for having me back. It's a different way of uh, meeting, but it's working. Absolutely. Well, first, could you tell us, tell our viewers about Aligned and your role? Certainly. So Align's been around several years now. The company was founded on the premise that uh, we needed a data center uh, that really focused on sustainability and the environment. So the founders created the company. They looked at everything very differently, basically tore up the rule books. Um, and the fundamental uh, design criteria of how you build a data center, how you design it, how you deploy it, how you operate it is radically different. And back when they did that, um, Frankly, people didn't really worry too much about environmentals. I mean, it was just a boom industry. Now, not only uh, are the energy czars having a, a, a you know, seat at the table from the hyperscalers and the customers, but they're really dictating who they work with and how, how this industry is moving forward. Phil, I understand there were some big announcements from Aligned over the past year, including significant improvements to Delta Cube, the company's patented and award-winning data center cooling technology. It's been called a game changer in data center design. So can you tell us why that is and then more about Delta Q? Certainly. So when you design a data center, the, the biggest uh, element that you need to take care of is the cooling. Um, that dictates everything, the size of the space, uh, the amount of capacity the client can put into their cabinets, how the cabinets are laid out, all of that. Um, is based on the cooling. So the Delta Cube itself, a four foot by four foot cube, is capable of 146 kilowatts of heat rejection in four feet. Now, when you compare that with a legacy technology like a DX cooling or a crack or a crawl, um, those units are typically 12 foot long, need a foot of clearance between each one of them. They're you know, nine, uh, six feet high, four foot deep, and they'll do 100 kilowatts of heat rejection. So obviously you see those ringed around the room uh, and that dictates the airflow and what the clients can put in there. With our cube, we, we put three of them in a stack. So we call that the array. So now you've got over 400 kilowatts of heat rejection in four feet, which basically is the equivalent of uh, you know, four of those large units in four feet. So we just line the walls as we need to with those devices. And that gives us our, our clients the ability to basically build their infrastructure as they need to, and they can grow as they need to, rather than having to put down a pre-described stamp of, you know, all the hot gear in the center, that's where most of the air flows, and then getting progressively less power towards the edges. They can have anything up to 50 kilowatts in all the cabinets or mixed density across that, uh, that infrastructure. Well, let's talk about uh, mid-2020. That's when Align began construction of its second hyperscale data center campus in Ashburn, Virginia. I understand it's one of a few in the area that draws critical power from multiple and then diverse sources mm -hmm. to achieve maximum redundancy. So can you give us an update on the construction and then how it will impact that data center region? Certainly. Well, Ashburn's always been an important place in the data center community. It was one of the first points of interconnection back in the day um, when the internet became a commercial entity. And uh, as a consequence, uh, most of the peering happens there and it is spread around the country and around the world since then. But with this close proximity to um, DC for all government uh, contractors and all that work there, it's just always going to be a significant uh, place on the market. So we, we took some land actually very close, actually adjacent to the original UNET site, which was one of the first interconnect interconnection points and really why Ashburn is Ashburn because of that building. So we bought land adjacent to that. We built our first building, uh, which we built in record time, still the fastest from permit to, to vertical in the marketplace. Uh, and we filled that, we sold it uh, very, very quickly. We started our second one um, several months ago. That'll be, uh, in fact, the first 12 megawatts will be commissioned uh, in the next uh, next uh, 30 days. Uh, that building is capable of 120 megawatts of, of capacity. So in that marketplace, drawing from three different substations, um, the energy that we procure as well is, uh, is all offset with renewables. That's very important to us and to our clients. And everything we do, the way we design and build and operate is, is specifically geared to be the most sustainable and the most environmentally sensible uh, in the industry. Very exciting. We will be watching for sure. 
Well, let's talk about some more headlines that Aligned was involved in, basically setting a best in class example for the data center industry regarding environmentally and socially sustainable growth. So could you tell us more about Align's data center sustainability initiatives? Certainly. Uh, well, let's start with our, um, our supply chain. Uh, a couple of years back, we realized that everyone's looking for the same equipment, generators, UPSs, well, not switch gear. We went out, uh, worked with our suppliers, and we took down 50 megawatts of capacity from all our suppliers. So that gives us the ability to draw those down very, very quickly. And also we containerize all of that equipment. So it's designed and built in uh, up offsite, uh, which is very important when you're looking at, if you've looked at any, any data center build, there's trades all over the place, there's metal shards everywhere. And with the best will in the world, you're never gonna clean all that up. So you get a lot of leaching of, of uh, metals into the water system, which is it obviously isn't good. We don't have that, we just drop those containers in. And as a result of that uh, methodology, the way we design and build, and also our safety uh, metrics, we were able to uh, use a, a new type of loan mechanism. So we were the first to take down a linked loan of a billion dollars based on our sustainability programs. And they're very strictly controlled with our, um, our safety aspects, uh, our uh, PUE, how much energy we actually draw down, the type of energy we procure. Um, so we, we're looking at this as a, a pretty of a game changer for particularly for the hyperscalers who are very, very, uh, keen to be carbon neutral in the next several years. So not only are we able to draw down uh, funds from the, the financial institutions to accommodate that, but also our design principles, uh, the, met, uh, the materials that we're using, um, with everything that we do, everything we do is based on sustainability. Lots of news from Aligned and lots to stay up to date with this year for sure. So can you tell our viewers where uh, they can learn more about Aligned and then follow the latest news? Certainly. So you'll find us on the social media engines, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, or our website, alignedenergy.com. Okay, you heard it from Phil. You know where to find him and learn more about Aligned. Thank you for your time today, Phil. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.